guys, I'm Kathy D'Souza. Welcome back to my channel. I know I have been shooting after a very long time. Uh, I used to shoot with an agency before and I kind of stopped shooting with them because I thought it was more better and more convenient for me to shoot at home. Uh, I can invest more of my time and put in my 100% when I shoot at home instead of going to a studio, carrying my luggage and not giving my best. Uh, I tried that for quite some time. I know the production value there was amazing but I'm gonna try my best to get the production value as good as I can even while shooting at home. Okay, so today's video is about a 10 minute makeup routine that I normally do when I go to work or when I'm in a rush or when I just, you know, I want to look like I have makeup but no makeup, something like that. So this is my version of a 10 minute makeup routine. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Hey beautifuls, so the first thing that I do once I am back uh, after washing my face is that I tone my face with the Body Shop Tea Tree Toner. I'm using my cotton swab. I'm just gonna go all over my face. So I'm using my Dior Snow uh, moisturizer as a moisturizer and as a primer today. This is one of my favorite moisturizers that I use before I apply my makeup. Yes, if I'm going with a full face, then no. And then I would probably use a face primer after a moisturizer. But because this is like my everyday thing, what I'm going to do on everyday basis when I go to work, so I try doing the bare minimum always. I happen to have a lot of marks on my face. So I'm going to take this leg cover up a bit on my thumb and just kind of place it on the areas where I have that mark. I understand that it's a bit darker but uh, when I cover it up with my powder it just blends right in perfectly. So yeah. I'm going to be using the same thing to over my eyelids to kind of camouflage the darkness that I have here. I will go in with my uh, Studio Finish Concealer to cover up my dark circles. Again taking it on my ring finger. Now once I'm done covering my dark circles, I've yet not set it but I'm gonna also go over the areas where I put my select cover up with my concealer just to balance out the darkness and the whiteness so that actually ensures your spots being covered completely. Now my favorite and you all have seen this in so many of my videos, I'm using the L'Oreal Matte Magique Mattifying Powder. Look at the state, like seriously. I have hit pan on my fourth or the fifth one. I don't even remember. I need to go shop today. Gonna to be using the same sponge that I get in it. First, use it under my eyes to set my under eyes because that's one of the most important places. You don't want your under eyes to crease. Then I'll just start putting it everywhere possible. Now, since you have so many liquid products, it's very normal for your powdered products to kind of get stuck on it so yes also because it's the summers i don't want my entire face to only be liquid liquid you tend to sweat more so i love powdery products during the summers but if you're somebody who likes bb creams and cc creams or foundations also please you can go ahead and do whatever you like the best i'm using the anastasia Browers, you guys know my routine. Next, I'll be curling my lashes with my eyelash curler that I got from Forever 21. Then I'll be using my Isadora Stretch Lash Mascara. This is a new mascara that's just come out in the market and it's Amazing, beautifully amazing. I love it. I don't normally apply eyeshadows or an eyeliner because that's just me. I like just like plain eyes with mascara and maybe a little highlighter in my inner corners, but that's about it. But if you like, applying eyelashes or eyeliners or eyeshadows please go ahead with it this is just a very simple 10 minute makeup tutorial so 
this is how I normally just go out, okay? Now once I'm done with my eyes as well, so fast, I'm gonna move on to my blush. I'm using the spring sheen from MAC Cosmetics. I'm gonna take that a bit on my dear brush. So right now I've applied the Beverly Pink by Dior. Uh, that's like a lip balm slash lipstick just to hydrate my lips while I do my makeup. So today I'll be using my Dior highlighter to highlight my face. I'm using my Vega pencil brush. Take a bit of the highlighter. Put it in my inner corners. Right below my brow. On the bridge of my nose. And then use my feather brush to apply it here. My forehead. I love highlighters. My cupid glow. Add a bit on my chin. Because it's a day look and I want to glow. For my lipstick today, I'll be using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Gold Digger. It's matte. I love it. And if you guys know any place that I can get this in India, please let me know in the comments below because I'm in love with this and I can't seem to find it anywhere. It's a very nice subtle pink and I really like how it looks on my lips. So yes guys, this is like the final look and it barely took me 10 minutes to get here so if you think that this can work for you try it out let me know what you guys think okay and i would love to know your feedback in the comments below so that's it for the video guys i hope you guys had fun watching it if you do it in any different way make sure to let me know in the comments below i would love to know what you guys use or incorporate to do your makeup in 10 minutes or less also if you guys like this video do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up do not forget to let me know in the comments below if there's any other video you guys would like me to do and uh, if you're somebody new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe hit that ring button or the subscribe button wherever it is and uh, subscribe and be a part of my family i will see you guys soon